Welcome back. Let's talk about the plastic bag ban happening in Prince George's County, Maryland. It is three days in on already. People have some reactions, if you will, about paying for a bag there at checkout. Yeah, there are certainly mixed thoughts about this new change. Uh, some people even choosing to shop without bags at all. DC News Now's Jan Marie Sisse spoke to shoppers about their frustrations with this new law. Yes, yeah, so you won't be finding plastic bags in stores in Prince George's County anymore. You actually have to bring a recyclable bag or you can pay 10 cents for a paper bag. And although many people are adjusting to this new law, many do say they miss the convenience of having plastic bags. Totally forgot about the plastic bag ban and I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, I wasn't prepared. Darling Brooks wasn't the only shopper that was surprised when she saw no plastic bags at the register. And he started putting it in the brown bags, I was like, oh, wait a minute, what's going on? The county's plastic bag ban went into effect on January 1st. I understand the concept of, um, you know, the plastic bags being bad for our environment. What I don't understand is, one, why we charge you for paper bags. Brooks and many other shoppers chose not to spend the 10 cents per bag. Her concern with this new law, the impact the cost could have on some shoppers. 10 cents a bag adds up. With the cost of groceries and gas and everything else, this 10 cents per paper bag is really um, a hardship on those folks who have limited income. Stephen Lynch says he's not a fan of the paper bags. With the plastic bag, you don't have to worry about them is busting in the bottom as much or, you know, some wet get in the um, bag, it, it's not going to bust. Um, with the brown bags, um, you have to be very careful with them. But despite the mixed feelings about the new change, Lynch and many others tell me they'll be sure to bring their own bag next time. I have my bags. I just forgot them. So next time I will come prepared. Reporting in Fort Washington, I'm Yamari Sase, DC News Now.